Okay, ladies, listen, when I tell you to break, you take a step back immediately. Keep your punches up, obey my commands, and protect yourselves at all times. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. With a wealth, a plethora of gold amateur accolades behind her, Lauren Louise Price, MBE, treads the professional boards for the very first time. The Welsh woman's been chomping at the bit to turn. So too, her partner and fellow Beijing medalist, Karis Artingstall, the new power couple. Karis at ringside, her turn comes in a fortnight. Now all eyes and expectation on Lauren Price as she kicks off against Valdegir, Gudenstottir, who's won five of seven. So she's tasted a professional ring on many more occasions, but she's never been in with anyone like Lauren Price. No, and she's already landed a lovely backhand there, just snapping the head back. Beautiful shot from Price. Quick, tight guard, flowing southpaw. Price just ripped away through the amateur middleweight division. Now settling Tash as a welterweight. Yeah, I think I think with the the one of the biggest things with 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 Price was was her hand speed and the, the like the speed that she puts uh, combinations together and you can see she's she's great with the the one shot and she landed a, a great single backhand before but it's when she puts the shots together that causes the opponent's issues. Good body shot and one to the head. Razor sharp already, Lauren Price. Under the tutelage of Robert McCracken. Both her and Karis electing to stay in Sheffield. The Team GB success in Beijing, unprecedented. Medals everywhere. Yeah, exactly, nothing left to prove in the amateur games, achieved it all. Time to move on now and start a new journey. And this is her first round in the professional ranks. It's been a good one. And the, and the opportunities are there, which is the, there wasn't always before Katie turned pro. There wasn't really that many opportunities to start at the pond to go into that professional ranks. But men like uh, women like the men now have options. About time and brilliant options. Yeah, you do, but what you don't want to do is make it hard for yourself. A head, you're coming in with a head. What you've got to do is stop her coming in with a jab and the backhand. We're mainly use the jab a bit more, it stops her coming in. But what you're doing is you're sometimes staying there too long and letting her come in. One, two moves, jab moves. Familiar faces all around her in that red corner. There's that lovely backhand, just timed it perfectly, straight through the middle, snapping her head back. Lovely shot. Soaking it all in, Lauren Price. The first ever professional ring walk and appearance. The first time she's heard a bell for the second round. One in now. Impressed with her start, she shapes up so well. Yeah, she has a nice high guard, like I say, there's the quick hands that I was talking about earlier. And she's everything you expect from your, her Olympic champion. I think we'll see her, you know, relax a little bit more as it goes on, if it goes on, and, and open up. Lovely left hand there from Price. What about Goodson Dot here from Iceland? She's got to just try and stay with Price, hasn't she? Because she can't match her for pedigree, quality, speed. No, I think the speed's the big thing that jumps out straight away here. Price she's got blistering hand speed, and when she puts the shots together in combinations, it's very difficult for Good Then Stutz here to, to defend against. And like you, Tasha, a southpaw always tricky. Yeah, we're horrible, aren't we? I hate, I hate sparring us. <laughs> but yeah, you, you know, we're used to the Valgadiers of the world. We're, we're used to boxing orthodox boxers all day, every day. Um, it's a bit different for you boxing us. All them combinations that work with an orthodox versus orthodox does not work with a southpaw. We saw Caroline Dubois turn over down in. Wales with 
Clarissa Shields watching her on the same bill. Lauren Price has her turn now, and Karis Artingsall in a couple of weeks on our fight night in Coventry. Exciting times. Tasha, a world champion, looking for that unification with Hannah Rankin. Savannah Marshall going to meet Clarissa Shields. Fantastic. And we've seen Katie and Amanda Serrano give us an epic, brilliant year. It has. It's been a brilliant year, and there's still there's some great boxing to come, which is, you know, that's the important thing. You, you, you have great fights, and you need to keep them coming and need to keep them competitive. We've seen at its highest level, women's boxing is just as good as any other boxing out there. Yeah, there's that backhand coming back then with the right hook. Nice accurate punch and then gets on a fight. See you again at the angle there. Yeah, backhand, right hook combination. And moves out of it. Out of distance, out of range. Third of six, welterweight division, the white, purple and silver of the 27-year-old Lauren Price, the Welsh woman. She's already got an MBE after her name, an absolute sporting success from a very young age, brought up by her grandparents and excelled in everything she turned her hand to, rather like Katie, as you said. Yeah, exactly, a lot of similarities in that regard and, and also but the Olympic gold medal too, so yeah, in more than uh, one way. And should we look into the likes of Katie Taylor and want to want to uh, and see what she's done and how she's, you know, the success she's had, and she'll want to do the same. Only the beginning. For think, Lauren Price. I think that's the the biggest thing is that Katie's not going to be around forever and we need somebody to step up and, and and take that position of her place and to carry the legacy of women's boxing forward good right hand from lauren price beautifully timed look at that movement flowing like a lightweight yep amazing to think she won her Medals at middleweight. Valgadir got some to here. The woman from Iceland who has the difficult task of being the first professional opponent for Lauren Price. And look at that straight left hand. Oozing quality, Matt. Yeah, growing in confidence now, starting to put combinations together. Give Val Valgadir a do it. She's, you know, she's stayed, tried to stay compact, but, and her chin's really good. She's taken a few big shots like that, and she's still stayed up. Yep, tough, stubborn. Speed electric from Price. <laughs>
there's spike too in some of these punches. Yeah, just settle down, get rid of the nerves, get into your flow, get the rhythm going, get your accuracy and just, you know, do be you, you know, because we know how good she is. We know what the, the ability is there and she's just nice movement there, just rolling out, out underneath and getting back into the center of the ring. And it, it is only a first fight, so you know she's gonna. She's been an amateur a long time. It takes a, it takes a few fights to learn to develop that pro style. And she's been waiting as well many months since Beijing. Obviously, her uh, signature was a pretty hot battle. Everybody wanted to get hold of Lauren Price. They took their time. They chose Boxer and Sky. And I know she's wanted to fight for many months. Yeah, exactly. So, you, you know, all them things together, you know, it's going to take her a few rounds to get the, the dust off. Lovely left hand again, lovely accuracy down the middle. In and out, sharp. And the legs as well, the feet, she's... athlete. Beautiful from Price. Yeah, Back into the fourth. Yeah, lovely the way she spun off there. Sometimes it feels like two minutes just isn't enough. <laughs> well, that's the big debate, isn't it? Most of you want three minutes, don't you? Yeah, I don't know a woman that has said that they will box for three minutes. Uh, um, you know, I think you know the safety, the safe, the safety aspect of it, it is why it is still only two minutes. But you know, there's always science to support what you're saying, and you know the amateurs believe that the two, the three minutes is better. The pros believe that the two minutes is better, and whose science is, is right? Nobody knows. If you could take your eyes off Lauren Price's uh, sharpness and her skills for a second, the QR code on your screen. If you hold your mobile phone up against that, you'll be right into the live vlog highlights from early in the evening. You'll see some of the action you may have missed. But don't go too far. There's only a couple more rounds tonight to enjoy Lauren Price. And she's an artist at work. She really is the standout amateur in her first ever professional fight. Valgadir, Gotsen Dottir doing ever so well to stick with Price. It's going to be hard matching her, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, but um, also people... Are, yeah, yes and no, I think people will want to shot at her as well. She'll soon have a target on her back. She'll be the one that people want to beat, um, make a name for themselves, but... yeah. It's, it's, it should be a hard night's work for anyone even now, so, uh, yeah. There's no messing around in them GB camps. You know, they're, they're tough years of work and dedication to go to them Olympics, so, you know, she could probably do 10 rounds, 10 twos right now. Um, but there's no there's no rush. There's no need to rush her. She's young enough. Um, and like I say, there's a lot of opportunities and doors all open because of who she is than the, the, stature, the stature that she's got. And she can just take her time and, and learn, learn, learn the game. Because it is slightly different. Yeah, what sh will she be finding in there tonight that's not quite the same as what she had at the back end of that brilliant amateur career? It's, uh, you know, I think power is a bit more thought of in the professional, you know, sitting down on your shots, taking your time, and obviously having longer rounds. Um, it, for the amateurs, it's three minutes, but you you, you don't have ten rounds. Um, so that's something she'll develop into. But it, it is different. You can, t you can take your time a little bit more. Not so much with the, th the two minutes, but... Trying to get rough now. Goodson dot here. Coming up to the end of the fifth, lovely from Price. Picking the shots with ease. She isn't really your typical southpaw either because she's quite aggressive. A lot of southpaws she tend to be, you know, they'll either go first and draw you onto a shot to, to make you throw, or they'll be, you know, reactive. But she's very aggressive and likes to throw the shots first. As Laura Price takes the final instruction from Robert McCracken. 
Angel Fernandez, who worked with Robert McCracken, with Anthony Joshua, and now leads the corner for Richard Reactor. Got a good relationship they've built here. Reactor, stablemates with Fraser Clark, with Anthony. Robert Garcia also now in that camp. Robert McCracken in the building. Strange how boxing works. Yeah, very much so. Uh, you know, one, one journey ends, another begins. Galal Yafai and, and Laura Price here tonight. Final round, Lauren Price, the Welsh woman with all the expectations on those shoulders, the broad shoulders. She's desperate to make a real statement as a professional, like she did in the amateurs. Will you be uh, going up to spa with her at any time, do you think, Tasha? Yeah, I would love to. I think, you know, the, the, the more high quality sparring you get, the better it, it'll be for everybody. Um, sometimes boxing can be guilty of closing their doors. You know, you've got something good, you want to keep it to yourself, you don't want everyone to know. But I think we've got a good enough relationship with Rob, Rob and, and the G Team GB to be able to go down there and, and do some training and, and also the relationship with Laden. You've achieved your dream, finally, of winning that world title after some uh, difficult moments uh, along the route. What, what do you predict for, for Lauren? Do you think that it will just be a matter of time and she will capture world honours? Yeah, I think... I don't, I, I don't think every single amateur that turns over, every good amateur will be a great professional, but it puts you in good stead and it gives you a, a, like a level up on, on, on the rest of the team. We've got to play catch up. It's been so quick, this six round, the two minutes, of course, last 50 seconds. First impressions as a pro tonight of Lauren Price. I like the hand speed, I like it when she puts her combinations together, I like the way she, her ring awareness, when she does get back to punch the rope, she look, she's good at coming underneath the shots, getting back into the centre of the ring, nice lateral movement, good on her feet. Um, yeah, a lot to like. Long, you know, a long way to go, She's this is the start of her professional career, but with the pedigree and experience she already has in the amateurs, I think she'll be moved fairly quickly. Mobility, speed, reflexes, timing, class. It is, I and mean, I think she's always ready to throw, no matter which way she spins, which way she turns, how she moves, she's always ready to throw a punch. Hats off to Valgadir Gibson Donier, who's last in the distance with Lauren Price. Respect at the end. Price wins easily. Every second of every round. And it'll be fascinating to see how she feels she before. Big smile from partner Karis. I bet she's breathing a sigh of relief. It was comfortable. It was impressive at times. And it was the start. It is, and there's a long journey ahead. I think probably Karis is more nervous than anyone because you, you, when you're out of the room you can't control what's that going on in it so you, you tend to be uh, you speak uh, like being around the smith brothers it's always them it's always the ones outside the room that are the most nervous matt i felt tonight with lauren we saw someone who is going to be a bit of a star she, she moves like a fantastic fighter yeah well it's been, it, it's been a highly anticipated pro debut we've been waiting for it for, for a long time uh, she impressed everyone by going over there and winning the gold medal uh, as she was brilliant at whatever sport she did and this is just the, the, the start of what should be a very special journey a sweet victory for lauren price let's get it officially Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes to distance six rounds, and we go to your scoring referee, Mark Bates, for the decision. Scoring about 60-54 in favor of your winner, Lauren Price! She's up and running. Our Olympic gold medalist from Beijing, Karis Yonex in a fortnight. The power couple.